Well, now on the CBS 13 News at 530, they're small enough to slip through a window screen, but boy, their bite can pack a punch. Your reporter covering Placer County, Connor McGill, tells us how one local vector control group is zeroing in on the species of a tiny fly to see if they could spread a virus that's rapidly moving across the globe. They may be near invisible to the average eye, but these tiny insects are getting big attention. Biting flies that we're talking about are also known as noceums or uh, biting gnats. Uh, they're very, very small um, flying insects that bite you and like mosquitoes can carry diseases and that's why we're interested in them. The Placer Mosquito and Vector Control District along with the CDC is on a mission to determine if they could carry a dangerous virus. And one of the threats that we know about um, in the last year or so has been a global outbreak in uh, something called Oropush virus. Uh, it's endemic to the Amazon basin. It's carried by a biting fly. Um, and it has recently moved out of the Amazon basin to Cuba and Europe. While it is yet to be detected here, health officials don't want California to be caught off guard. They need to know whether these local flies could spread it. Now this is the trap those biting flies are being captured in across Placer County. As you can see this contraption here, the light component at the top is what attracts those biting flies and they move down to the mesh part here and then down to the small vial which is brought back here to Placer Mosquito. So we throw them under the microscope, we look for a specific body shape, we look for a certain type of wing pattern and we look for those biting mouth parts. The summer long project will map where these flies are found in Placer County and give agencies a head start if Oropush ever lands in California. We have ongoing surveillance for these biting flies. What I recommend is wear a good repellent.